Now ever since we introduced our first PC-based measurement products, we've always had a focus on time to first measurement. In other words, we didn't want you to have to spend a significant amount of your time setting up and configuring our products. Recently, we've introduced a number of new members to our data acquisition family that illustrate our focus on time to first measurement. Earlier this year, we introduced a $99 USB thermocouple device in which you plug it in and literally in less than 60 seconds, you're acquiring data. Recently, we just introduced another low-cost device, this one targeted at students, called NIMIDAC. This provides a very simple environment, measurement environment, that can be used in the lab, at home, and easily fits in their backpack. And this week, we're introducing a new family of USB multifunction devices that's based on our X-Series technology that we introduced last year at NI Week. But we're not stopping there to talk about an exciting new family of data acquisition products built around our C-Series platform, please welcome Michael Handy and Brett Berger. Thanks, John. NI Compact Act has served as one of the easiest ways to make voltage, digital, and sensor measurements using an external PC bus. Until now, multi-slot chassis only came with the USB interface. But today, we're pleased to announce a new eight-slot compact DAC chassis with gigabit ethernet. The full set. The full set of C-series IO modules are supported. An ethernet chassis is programmed the same way as a USB chassis. In fact, for the majority of, of compact DAC systems, you can simply move your modules over and use your exact same software. All right, but Michael, when we gave up USB, did we give up anything in terms of ease of use to get the distance of Ethernet? Well, John, making it easy to set up and configure Ethernet chassis was one of our main objectives, which is why this year we're introducing NI web-based configuration for Ethernet DAC and RT targets. This new technology allows the user to see and configure their network devices directly from a web browser. From here, you can modify your IP address, set up security settings, and even rename the device, all without having to install a driver. All right, so it sounds like the ease of use is there, but Brett, what about performance? Well, a lot of companies have just been adding Ethernet ports to old relay-based systems, but these devices are way too slow for many of today's modern applications. Take, for example, the high-speed acoustics demo we have here on stage. We're gonna test a starter's pistol to see how loud it is, much like the manufacturer would do before recommending the use of ear protection. For our test setup, we have two microphones, one for the gun and another about arm's length back representing the ear. Now, of course, gunshots are very loud, but they're also extremely short, so we have to sample fast enough to make sure we don't miss that peak sound level. That is why we're using our new NI9223 high-speed analog input C-series module. This module can measure the sound at up to one million times per second. That's 10 times faster than our previous module could do. Now, John, if you'll go ahead and put on some safety equipment, I'll fire up the program. And with this VI running, we are now continuously streaming two million acoustic measurements over about 100 feet of ethernet cable running underneath the stage. The gunshot will trigger the software to stop the acquisition and then begin the simple sound level processing. John, fire at will. These people sitting over here are kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the recorded sound from the two channels on these charts. You can see as the, as the waveform travels between the two microphones, the pattern actually repeats. At the muzzle, you experienced about 154 dB, but the, by the time it got to the ear, it was 143 dB. All right, well, that looks like uh, some impressive performance, an exciting new platform. But wait, there's more. Well, a little more. You may have noticed the new color. The Ethernet chassis, as well as the USB chassis we released last October, will all be shipping in our brand new metallic frost color. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Michael, seriously, a new color? <laughs> I, I think what he meant to say was we have a very exciting new Ethernet DAC solution, a new web-based network configuration, new higher speed C-series module, oh yeah, and the new color. Michael, Brett, thank you very much.